Jojo Siwa. Siwa? Am I even saying her name right? Is it Siwa? Hey, hey Siri. Hi guys, this is China B of China B Sweets. Welcome back to my channel. I am a self-taught cake artist and lover of all things cake. If you love cake like me, don't be ashamed. Go ahead and click that subscribe button because I'm bringing you cake life every single week. Today I'll be creating a Jojo Siwa themed birthday cake with beautiful, colorful layers and buttercream stripes. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm using a cake comb to create my buttercream stripes. Now you want to start with the chilled cake. I kind of chilled my cake a little bit too long, but don't worry, it'll work out in the end. Now I'm just using my colored buttercream to fill in the stripes that I created. I heat up my bench scraper with a kitchen torch and I go around the cake a few times to create clean lines. I'm going back and filling in any gaps with extra buttercream. I found a pretty close JoJo Siwa font online. I traced it onto a piece of parchment paper, which I then placed on top of some gum paste. Using my pencil, I'm making a light impression onto the gum paste. Which I then painted with some Americolor Deep Pink Airbrush color. Take your time with this. You may have to do a few practice runs. That's okay. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Thank you. 
I'm preparing my bottom tier with bubble tea straws. I use bubble tea straws because they're inexpensive and they're pretty sturdy. I just make sure I push the straw all the way down to the bottom of the cake. And before I cut it, I make sure that it is level. I added some pink candy melt drips to this cake using a squeeze bottle. For me, that's the easiest method to add unicorn drips. A pro tip from China B, make sure your cake is chilled before you add your drips. That will ensure that the drips won't go straight to the bottom, but they'll hang around the middle of the cake. Now bring in the candy. I'm using some more piping gel here just to attach my sprinkles since my candy melts had already dried. The sprinkles do need something to stick to. So just brush a little bit on the spots where you want the sprinkles to stick. There you have it, a beautiful two-tiered striped buttercream JoJo Siwa cake. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe because I drop a new cake video every week. Thank you so much for watching and stay sweet.